Hi guys, it's Lexi Pike. Welcome to my channel. And you guys haven't seen me make a video like this in a while. Um, so I'm going to be talking about my ghost experiences. I've had multiple. So, first off, um, I was adopted at age two. And then we decided to move. So, age nine was when we moved to a house when I was in fifth grade. Oh yeah, you guys should see the dragon I got. I'm obsessed with dragons so much, I had to get this. It has one, two, three, four, five heads. I've never seen a dragon like that before. It's really cool. Okay, so. Let's not get side talk this time. So. My bedroom was next to the kitchen, in front of the bathroom, next to my sister's bedroom. So the kitchen was this, wow, the kitchen was this way, the bathroom was this way, and my sister's room was this way, how I said it. Um, cause I would lay like this in my bed, but I don't anymore. I lay at the end of my bed for some reason. Um, so. This, I was two, I was nine, so, and I didn't move to 2014, so it was almost four years. I was seven, 2010, so, wait, what? I was at 14. Mm. It was in 2012, maybe? Okay, so I, because my anger issues, I would break stuff. And I don't do that anymore because I don't know the people that would make me so angry that I want to smash their face in. Um, that's why I'm going to get a wage room when I once get my own place. Like fill it up with broken stuff that's been already broken. I look like a raccoon because my makeup is messed up. I've been wearing my eyeshadow all day. Um, so, this house, we lived in front of a cemetery. We moved due to bullying because I was being bullied so much. So, I would go to bed in my room, clearly, at 7.30 because I was 9. I would shut off my TV and cover the lights of my TV um, because for some reason it looked like a demon whenever the lights were shining in the dark so I would lay in my bed and, and read books when it, if it's summertime in the dark through the, the night shining through my window um, and then all of a sudden I hear something opening a silverwood wall so I checked. Nothing was there. And I continued to hear it. Um, and when I was left home alone. When I was left home alone. The gas stove started by itself. Knives were thrown. Things have been levitating. One time, when I went to bed, um, this TV was broken and stuff. Well, the side of it was. Like, the well, button was pushed in, the on button was pushed in, but there was no way of me turning it on, so I had to use a remote. So, at 4 a.m., I get jump scared out of my sleep due to my TV turning on and blasting 100 volume 
playing Jesse from Disney Channel. At 4 a.m. before I even woke up, an hour before I even woke up to get ready for school. So I tried to shut it off, wouldn't shut off. So I unplugged the TV, because I couldn't turn it down either. So I went to unplug the TV, and it was still on. Shush. And so I unplugged the cable box and the TV, because I was so confused. So then I fell asleep, woke up at 5, my TV was mysteriously turned off. And was mysteriously plugged back in the wall. Same with the cable. What kind of explanation do can I get for that? My parents were sleeping. My sister was sleeping. My grandma and grandpa were sleeping downstairs. I'm the only one that gets up early in the morning. So... 12. Age 12 is when they started getting physical. I would wake up every 3 a.m. to use the bathroom. Every 3 a.m. Don't know why. I, it just started happening once I turned 12. Once I had an accident. I might have fainted at a restaurant. Hit my head off of a concrete floor, had a cut and a bump heel. And after that, I started seeing ghosts, the future. And then I started doing that weird thing at 3 a.m. I would wake up, go to the bathroom. Before I go to the bathroom, I turn on the light because how dark it is. So I turn on the light, and then night's out. I'm still conscious. But I couldn't see anything. I was blind. And my brain was fuzzy. Um, I wasn't dizzy or anything. My brain was like fuzzing. Um, I don't know how to explain that part. But every 3 a.m. that would happen to me. I would be. And then once I see again. I'm white like this. Crisscross on the floor. And I would be confused on what happened. I told this to a ghost investigator who's going to be putting my story up in one of his podcasts, in one of their podcasts, because I give them permission. But they're not going to say this YouTube channel's name. They're going to just call me A if they want. Or just give me, me a nomin anonymous. But he said that, because my friend said that sounded like possession. Um, I would have to go on my, uh, my, um, ghost investigation account first. So I'll do that and read the message. But he says, yeah, that wasn't possession. It was just a ghost doing a body jump. How are you on? Sorry about my double chin. Shut off, please. Shut off, please. There, it's off. Okay, so I'm I'm friends with this. These ghost investigators, well, technically the father of of them. Um, so this is what I said. Hey, what? Um, my story's not on there, and none of his messages are on here. Hold on. Hey, do you know what happened to my 
messages when I first started texting you? Like my story and the replies that I got from you guys. Hmm. That's never happened before. They were active for hours ago. Okay, that's mm -hmm. confusing. Well, he said it didn't, it's not possession, and this is very well. It would always happen in that house. So, my story was what I told you about when I was 12, about the bathroom incident, about me going temporarily blind. Um, Hold on. What was I gonna say? Crap. Um. I never told anyone because no one even heard me collapse either. Um. So I was like, so this person says, I've only heard of someone going temporarily blind. only once and it's like wow well. so he he said it was a body jump a ghost was body jumping and I was like so like possession and he was like not really so yeah turns out I wasn't possessed just wanted to kill up yet I'm the target And I'm back. Oh yeah, guys. I got a new ghost face shirt. Ow. It's a little big on me. Surprisingly, because I'm usually this face. But I'm pretty sure it's because I've been losing a lot of weight lately. Okay, so. After all of this stuff has been happening. We moved when I was 14. It happened from age 12 to age 14. We moved It was 2015 So we moved to another house in my technically hometown I grew up on but then I moved um, so nothing happened after that so we went to go back to that house which I was terrified to go back and to sign the papers off, saying that we accept, I don't know what the papers were, it's something about signing off the house and stuff, um, to sell it, so people can buy it. We had to spend the night there, because we lived two hours away. So, I slept in my same room. In my same room. 3 a.m. This was a year ago. No, a year later than 2015. So, 
It was 2016. Was it? No. Hold on. Two thousand fifteen was when I was twelve. I got the ages messed up, so that just means it's two thousand seventeen. Yeah, I thought that was messed up because I was almost fifteen too. So it was twenty seventeen, and then yeah, when we moved a year later, two thousand eighteen. We came back to do that paper thing. We I slept in that ha house once, or for two nights. W woke up at 3 a.m. to use the bathroom. I was extremely scared of the dark when I was, was nine. That's the part I never told anyone because it's embarrassing. Um, so, I also had sleep paralysis in that house from age nine to 14. And I didn't have it since until I went back. And I have an attachment. Now. So. My stomach's growling. <laughs> so, I, like usual, like I used to, I would turn on the light to use the bathroom. Lights out. For two nights, we would do that, and then we moved, and then we left. The next day, we went back to our new house. I was in eighth grade, new house. Oh yeah, I lived the two. Oh god, okay. So, I'm trying to figure out if I actually did live there when we moved back. I'm pretty sure we did, because no one bought it until years later. I would have to look up our house. Um, ah! That. But, then we moved back to my new house. Nothing happened after that. Except a strange call we got. So we had a house phone. A landline. I think it was a landline. It was a house phone. Just like little wiggle things. And you t press the buttons to call. And that's it. That's all you can do on it. On When it was October. We got a call. My mom. Because my bedroom was here. And the bathroom you have to go through my bedroom to use. And I'll do, do laundry. My mom was in the shower. The phone rang. So I went up to the bathroom door and said, Mom, the house phone's ringing. And, she, and I asked if I could answer it. She said, yes, answer it. So I answered it. I was like, hello? No response. All I hear is, shh. Status. Static. So I was like, I'm hanging up now, bye. And then I hung up. They called back. I answered. It was the same thing. So I hung up. We unplugged the house phone after it called like 20 times at 3 a.m. A V day after that. So I I still don't know who the hell that was. Okay, so there's that. And then we moved that's the same house, so I was there for eighth grade, middle school. Then we went up there, then we lived there till the beginning of ninth grade, then we moved back to that house. To that house.
It's been two years since we lived there. We went to that house, went to school for the rest of ninth grade, the beginning of ninth grade, and half of tenth grade. But the funniest thing is, the experience I've had since I was 12 never happened after we moved back into that house in 2019. Which has me concerned, like, why would, would they do it when I, was, when I was 12 to 14, almost 15, and not do it when I was 16? Which I don't understand why. But I still get attacked by ghosts. So... I started school, and that school, everyone was talking about, um, stuff. They were doing this stuff. I walked into school, I see my childhood best friends from 4th grade, age 9. We don't talk anymore because they don't like me. But at least I have my childhood friend that I've been friends with since literally kindergarten. We talk here now, we don't talk as much. She never even replied when I said happy birthday to her. Oh, in September. Um, so, nothing happened after that. There was a couple of fights between me and my sister at school, and then we moved. Then we had a lockdown. Three of them. One a drill, two wheel in 2019. The drill one was the day I decided to go to school a day early. We, I wanted to go in, well I, we had to go in to um, meet people before my, my first day of school. So we did and my teacher says after I meet everyone, after we have a tour of that classroom, they, she says, hey, why don't she, she just, um, s start, start a day early for school. But they were asking me. So my mom was like, because I'm a nerd. I loved school, especially when I had fun. But then I got expelled. Hmm. But they asked me, and I was like, yes, I do. Well, not so. This was literally after my mom left. She drives off. I decided to put my ass down in the seat. As soon as I went to sit down, code red. Code red. This is the drill. But code wet, wet. I was confused because no one ever used that code, and I didn't know what it meant. So I asked them. Eh, no way. That's another long time. Um, they just said there's a lockdown and stuff, so we had to hide in the closet, in the pitch black closet. But we were allowed to bring our phones and laptops to do schoolwork still, but quietly. This is October 17th, 2019. That was the drill. I was about to start on my brother's birthday, October 18th, 2019. And then we had, and then, um, a month or two, yeah, a month later, I was, I was sitting by, with my boyfriend he was African American and then all of a sudden I hear we hear over the I think it's called PA well intercom code wet I repeat code wet this is not a drill code wet and I was so confused so I was like what does that mean and my boyfriend at the time we're not dating anymore said that means 
months we have in a lockdown. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I made sure to bring my laptop because I didn't have a phone until 2021. So we did. The, that lockdown was actually real. But I don't know if it's on record or anything. But someone brought weapons to school that day and was planning on using them. That lockdown lasted six hours. And we were on the last period. This school starts at 9.15 a.m. We have to get there at 8.15. So it starts at 9.15. And... And school ends 3.45 p.m. Because it was in Florida. And it was close to that time. So, of course, we had to have lunch. So the dean, she was like a principal though, came in with a... We are allowed to exit the classroom if we have an ex-court, a.k.a. dean a dean or the cops so I was hanging out with this guy which he should be no named um, he ended up in my ex yeah so me and him were walking side by side and because I bring cold lunch, I thought it would be a good idea to not go there. But she, th they said, since it's a lockdown, I would have no choice, but I have to go through the line. So I did. And, s and the lunch lady asked, told me, I don't look familiar, what's my name? And I was like, because I went by Heidi at the time. I was like, Heidi. And she says, I don't see you in our lunch. Is this your first time? Um getting lunch and I was like it's my first time in the line but I already have my cold lunch the teacher told me I have to go through this line so I explained it to them um, but before that the guy that I was sit was um, standing next to was like hey Heidi and I was like what and, she, and he was like do you, am, is it just me or do I see someone aiming a gun at the cafeteria doors. So I looked, he was right. So we reported it to the teacher because we won't show. And they explained it was, it was a sniper, a cop that does snipers and stuff. So we were calmed after that. But then we had to hurry up back into the class and then um and then we hear over in the intercom like two hours later um cause we usually have an hour of I had gym that day, but I was overwhelmed and I got dizzy because I was overwhelmed and scared. Um, and that's what happens to me when I'm terrified. I would get dizzy and nauseous. So, of the intercom, it says, um, the drill is over, thank you for staying quiet, and you can go upon the rest of your day. I had gym that day. And I was dizzy, so they, everyone started leaving, so I went up to my teacher, um, cause my ex, the African American one, was ready for me. And I went up to the teacher and said, I'm dizzy, cause the lockdown thing scared me and overwhelmed me, so I'm dizzy now. Can I just stay here until it's time to go home? And she allowed it. She said yes. So I waited. 
so I lay down on the table because we were allowed to do that and wait until it was time to go and I was still dizzy then so I think my older sister picked me up or it was my mom okay um Yeah, it was, my mo it was my mom. But after all that happened the next day, there was weird things happening in the auditorium. There was like paranormal activities happening there, you know. Everything got thrown and no one was in that class. Yes, we broke into that class several times. But I did it because I had an ID. And I left, and I kept one here at school, and one at my at my house. I kept a spare one here at school, just in case I lose it. And I ended up losing my my first ID. AB five days. So the ID is they have to confirm that you're a student at the school. And so when someone noticed I didn't have the um, necklace thingy, I don't remember what that's called, with the tag on it, confirming that I am who I say I am, and I was like, that's what I forgot, I can't find it, but I have a spare one in my classroom, so he says I have 30 minutes to confirm that I do go to this school, and if, no, Oh, and if I don't, I'll get suspended. So I went running. And I told my friend. About it. And he was like. Okay. I, we have a way of getting in. Because the door is always locked. So how we would do it is. There's two doors. The double door where everyone enters. In the side door, well, the teacher half the time enters in and out to check on classes. Turns out that people have been putting stuff, or not shutting the door all the way, leaving the door cracked open for us to break in. So me and my friend did, and we looked around. We didn't turn on the lights because I, I wanted to know we were in that class. Um, and so he used his flashlight. We looked through the drawer of the desk, couldn't find it. So then we went back and waited for the teacher. She didn't show up until 10 minutes later. And so I talked to her about it and I was like, I need to confirm that I, that I need to show someone my ID before I get suspended from school. So she was like, oh, okay. And so she opens the desk, takes it out. This is, I'm pretty sure this isn't paranormal um, activity, but we looked in that drawer and it was not there. Okay, and then skip to the end of the year. I ended up dating that guy that pointed out that someone was putting a gun at the school. And we lasted until August 7th, 2021. No way. 2020. We lasted like... We got together March 12th, so... April 12th, May 12th, June 12th. July 12th, was that July? August. Oh, so for almost six years. It was almost our six year, six month anniversary. He breaks up with me because I didn't want to get pregnant with his child and because I was into witchcraft because he's Christian. Yeah, you can say you're Christian, but you shouldn't just try to use a goal to get into their pants yeah so all of that happened blah 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 um then they moved again no that's in you 
we I'm pretty sure it was 2019 now. Uh, we were living with my older sister, with my ne nephews, with my two nephews, and we got a call saying that we had two um, of those from us in an abandoned place. So we went to an abandoned place at 7 p.m. right after school. We broke in. We got the drawers. I'll call them bureaus, but it sounds weird. Um, shush. And we also looked through a lot of stuff. We left books there. And this is before I found out you should never take anything from an abandoned place, because who knows lo who, what looks in the dark. So I still Lord of the Wings books and after that that's when I started becoming haunted and attacked constantly but she has an, uh, she, but she understands now that's where Abigail and Ophelia came from the spirits that haunt me Ophelia is the demon so yeah so we broke into that and then we moved in 2020 before 10th grade. The graduation on um, last day of school is usually May something, so after my birthday. So we moved, and that's when I realized I was being followed by a spirit, which I still am. I have an attachment since. I found out this year I have an, a ghost attachment that's been protecting me from my biological mom. And I have like several other ghosts following me and I can heal ghosts now. I can't quite see them anymore because they just don't want me to for some reason. I don't know why but I would see shadow figures in the dark like always like I used to before I fainted at a restaurant so that's my ghost experience and if you guys have any ghost experience um you guys can comment down below your ghost experience or Or oh, not all. Yeah. I don't have Instagram on my phone. And I'm not re-downloading it. Um, so, comment. Yeah. Um, paranormal experience that you've had or that you know someone else have um, in the comments. And since my comments aren't on hold to review and all, it's on public so you guys can just send them and I'll get the notification. Um, I will get it immediately now and I will, and this comment could say you want to be anonymous and then I'll just screenshot the um, comments and then, and then delete it because you want to be anonymous or you can put out your story in the comment section and give me permission to say your username. So I hope you enjoyed today tonight's video and if you like content like this please hit the subscribe button, turn on all personal notifications and flash the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!